We got him. We got our boy, Stefan Gilmore, man. This is a great move. You know what this shows me, man? This shows me that the Vikings are not playing any games. We actually have faith that we're going to win this season right here. Like, we're trying. You don't, you don't make a move like this unless you're actually trying to have a semi-successful season in 2024. And I like that, man. That's aggressive. I like the move. Um, when he came to the building, I had no doubt in my mind that once he got to our facilities, toward our facilities and stuff like that, that he was going to sign. I mean, connecting with KOC, Brian Flores, and Quasi Adolfo Mensa. Like, when you think about that trio right there, usually players come in, man, it's hard to walk away from that because the vibe is just different, man. It just hit different. But Stefan Gilmore, man, I still have high hopes for him. I think he's going to help this football team tremendously. And it might not be, he might not be the spring chicken that he once was and the A grade player, the A list type player that he once was. But the great thing about it is he's a veteran and he understands the field spacing. He knows where to be, when to be there. And he still is going to make plays this year, bro. I can promise you that. Now, what this does is this means if there's a guy that you liked and I and I believe Nudie is going to make the squad, right? I believe Nudie definitely solidified himself to where he should get a roster spot. But there is going to be somebody that might not make the squad. I'm going to tell you right now, that might be if I had to guess, I believe Jay Ward probably is going to be on the practice squad. And I know there's a lot of fans that were high on Jay Ward. They switched him to corner. Yesterday, if you noticed, they had him playing corner and safety. And he struggles a little bit at corner, man. I'm going to tell you right now. And when you think about the safety room, we're kind of stacked right there already. So there's going to be somebody that's not going to play or not going to be on the 53-man roster that we see that is going to shock us. There's going to be some kind of shocking cut coming across the board here soon. And that's okay because Stefan Gilmore, $10 million, one year. And what that does is if he still has, you know, and this is based on him, if he feels like he has a couple more years, it'll be good for next year because he's already in the building. You can negotiate and say, hey, rock one more year with us. This is the year 2025 that we really are going to try to make a push being that we got our franchise quarterback. So we'll see what happens, man. But this is great news, man. I'm excited for the Minnesota Vikings due to the fact that this shows that you are trying to win now. All right. This isn't for the fans who want to think tanking or let's just play for a draft pick. No, Quasi Adolfo Mensa, Brian Flores, them, man. They're actually going out and trying to get players that are going to make a difference this year right now, man. Stephon Gilmore, Shaq Griffin, Byron Murphy, I'm telling you, and you put Nudie. Man, maybe Nudie can play the slot, but I look at it like this. You got Shaquille Griffin, put Byron Murphy in the in the slot, and and put a, a, a Stephon Gilmore on the other side, bro. We got we got three veteran cornerbacks. I can't remember the last time the Vikings had three veterans out there that actually understand the game. And this is going to take a lot of pressure off Byron Murphy. This is going to make him look a lot better as a player. Trust me. I'm telling you, this is all going to be a trickle down effect to where we'll really see Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy will start getting more interceptions at this moment now that he has some veterans that actually understand where they're supposed to be at and actually can play the cornerback position. I can't wait to see how this flourishes, man. Shout out Minnesota Vikings, man. Stefan Gilmore, welcome to the Vikes, baby. I'll let your boy. Yeah. Move summer, who run it? I hear them talking, but they ain't gon' do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm tourist. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.